Recently, I made a video experiment to see if there were any real differences between biomes for ore content. It was a small experiment, but it was very well received and you said you'd like to see a much larger one. Well, look no further. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamans, in the let's expand upon the previous video where we were doing some investigation type series, which isn't actually a series either. I just made it up. But I had such an um, interesting and amazing response from the how many ores you get from various biomes and some really interesting comments. And what that made me think was actually some of you are quite right. I didn't do sufficient work on that investigation. It wasn't good enough. I need to do more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm not going to you know, go through all the digging or at least almost no digging with you. I'll do that behind the scenes. But what we're going to do is we're going to do as many biomes as we can. We're going to do at least three holes in every biome and we're going to do five different worlds. Now, because the worlds load in and generate a procedural way, it doesn't mean, just because you get one word, doesn't mean that you're actually getting the correct amount. It's not an average world, if you like. So if I do five worlds, theoretically, I should get an average number of ores that you'd get across the worlds. And if I do more biomes, then you get more of a cross section. And that's the idea. So like last time, if you've not seen the last video, the link is in the description below. But like last time, we're going to see how many ores you get from one chunk going all the way from between 60 and 70 on a Y value right the way down to bedrock. And then we're going to tie it all up and we're going to see what the results are. Let's crack on. So here we are, world number one. And the biome that we happen to be in is the plains. So the plains is where we're going to start. I'm going to bring up the the chunk borders, there we go. And I'm gonna just basically get myself, which one should we do? Let's do this one, because then it's not got the challenge of that water. And we're just, basically, we're gonna dig out this entire chunk right down to zero, well, or one, anyway, and find out what we've got in it. So that's the chunk that we're gonna do. This is world one, chunk one, in biome one. Unlike the last one, I'm not going to do a stratified, you know, how deep is each ore thing, because I think the last video actually worked that out quite well, and I don't need to do it again. We know that above 30, you're not getting anything really apart from iron and coal, and then you get all the good stuff kind of 20 and downwards. What I am going to do, however, is tot up each of the different ones that I get. So, for example, there's three iron, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coal, two more iron and I'm just going to top that all up as I go down level by level until I've got a complete um, itinerary of what it is is in here and then I'll go on to the next hole. Tager's next and it actually looks like there's quite significantly less in this one than there was in the previous ones in the plains so that's quite interesting. I'm just going to tell you although there is a nice big bunch of diamond down there that's a, in fact, that's a big old vein of diamond. Look at the size of that one. What's that? That's six blocks of diamond. Oh, you just dream of finding six blocks of diamond with a Fortune 3 pickaxe, don't you? Here's one we didn't do last time, the desert biome. Very interested to see what is underneath here. It's pretty interesting, actually. So we've got a fairly normal amount of uh, coal and iron as we go down. But as we get down towards the bottom, it looks like there's less of the other elements a little bit and I can't see no diamonds in this one. I wonder whether that will be true of all the others as well. Oh, I've missed the gravel. We found a jungle biome. Now this one could be quite interesting. It's obviously quite a, a rare biome and we wanna see whether or not there is gonna be any difference in this sort of mining. So I'm just gonna bring up again the chunk borders. Exactly the same procedure as we did before. Let's get this out of the way. There is the corner, and we're going to come and do uh, exactly this chunk as well and see whether or not we have got anything different because I've got literally no clue, never done a jungle one before. So I'm going to share with you an easy way to get rid of the blocks that I didn't know about last time, and that's why I can do so 
uh, much of a bigger study on this occasion. If you do slash fill and you type in the coordinates of the chunk, so this is 1039 and the top is 7335, and then go 1024, 1, 320, and then Minecraft Air replace, so Minecraft Air will replace, let's say on this occasion, Minecraft Dirt. It takes out all of the dirt, and then you can repeat that by saying grass block takes out the grass block repeat it by saying let's come out here and say stone takes out all of the stone brilliant do the same with gravel takes out the gravel and so on and so forth and obviously I could put that into a command block but I've got to be honest I'm not entirely sure how you program a command block for this sort of thing in terms of a series of commands so I'm just going to do it one thing at a time it's working beautifully it's significantly faster than I've done it before and as a result that means that I'm going to get lots and lots of samples done which makes means we've got loads and loads of really great data and now it's the turn of the flower forest. Let's see what this one's got to offer us. We're in the wooded mountains and it's time for the emeralds to come out. But goodness me, look, we've got one on the edge of the chunk there, one on the edge of the chunk there, one on the edge of the chunk there, and one actually in the chunk there. That's mental. I've not seen so many emeralds so close together. I don't think ever. This is interesting. So this is world three that I'm looking at right now. And... I did have emeralds in the other mountain biomes as well, but this is the most I've seen. Dead, dead interesting. These biomes are really hard to find, these Mesa Badlands biomes. Finding them is a nightmare. This is World 3, and I've only found this one. I didn't find any in World 1 or World 2. What a nightmare. Anyway, let's hope we can keep finding more. So what I want to do is I want to get myself a nice kind of a roundabout mid-60s. So where's my F3 now? We are going to be landing around about here I think that works beautifully I'm very happy with that it's in the 60s let's pull up our uh, that's have we got one that's maybe got less um, less water in it yet yeah. let's go for this one let's just cap off that water so it doesn't get in the way and then we will start digging this fella out well, if anybody ever doubted that there was more gold in a Mesa biome, this should sort you out. Look, the gold starts right up at Y60. That's never been seen in any other biome at all. And there is loads of it, loads and loads and loads of it. Less of some other stuff though, you'll notice. How much iron is there? Almost none, very, very little. That's really interesting. Let's get this counted up and add it to the rest of the data. Do ice spike biomes have any hidden secrets? I really hope they do. I love these biomes. And if they've got some really worthwhile mining, I would like to know about it. Let's dig down. Well, it looks like there is masses and masses of coal, just way, way more coal than there was in any of the other digs, which is really interesting. I've done this now four times. I couldn't find an ice biome on one of the worlds, but this is the fifth world, four ice biomes, and there is absolutely boatloads of coal everything else is relatively consistent by the look of it but coal are plenty <laughs> i've actually found one world five first mushroom biome i have found so statistics aren't going to be quite as accurate with this one maybe across five worlds because i could only find one but let's get ourselves three holes all the data's in I eventually examined five holes across five worlds in 12 biomes. I did find two more mushroom biomes, so there is a sample set of three worlds for that one. That's a lot of data, nearly 300 holes. So I'm not gonna sit and talk about it with the data on the screen. However, the Excel is available to download and the link is in the description. Looking at the data and the graphs that the numbers create, there is a strong support for our previous findings in the last video, where most resources are fairly evenly distributed. However, there are what seem to be some variations to that generalization. For example, ice spike biomes seem to have significantly more coal than any other biome, over 10% more than the next largest coal biome, which is the swamp. However, the swamp does still seem to lead the way on all the other ores. Well, mostly. 
Mountains are the only place that yield emeralds, although we pretty much knew that. Mesa Badlands, however, give massively more gold, just massively more gold, and hugely less coal and iron. Right up to the surface that gold goes, six to eight times more gold, in fact. So looking at how variable each chunk is using a standard deviation and the deviation as a percentage of the mean value, so let's call that the variation, we do see that there is actually a fairly regular occurrence of each ore species in the different chunks of the same biomes. However, the higher number of ore blocks, the more accurate this is, and coal, being the most common block in all of them, except for Mesa, has a variation of less than 5%, so actually that does suggest that it is pretty standard. So, some conclusions. First and easy one, you wanna mine for gold? Get yourself to a Mesa, over a full stack of gold per chunk there. Of all the other ores, except for emeralds, get yourself to a swamp. They does seem to be higher in pretty much every single line. For emeralds, frankly, you're better off trading with villagers. You only get one, maybe two emeralds per chunk, and that is not as efficient as trading with your friendly villager. All that said, most ores are relatively evenly spread, so long channel branch mining, feet at round about Y11, Y12, is still a great strategy. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of digging and a lot of numbers and a lot of data, but what an interesting set of results. Actually means that no matter where you are, generally speaking, you're gonna find that branch mining is a good positive option for you to get plenty of ores. But if you specifically want to get lots of gold, go to your Mesa. If you want to have a higher chance of getting stuff, go to a swamp, it seems. It's got a better chance of getting everything except for gold. Really, really interesting. If you have enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.